first and foremost, I was always in the community and uh, I did sports. And many times parents would come to me and uh, ask for some assistance with uh, their student, their child's uh, homework, particularly math. And um, it was my niche. I, I absolutely loved explaining math. I love my job. <laughs> Every single day, I don't think I ever go home upset about anything. It's just an amazing feeling, something I can't put words to. There are not enough words to explain what you feel as a teacher, especially those aha moments when you know that there's a struggle and suddenly they find the tools. You know, you've left the tools there with them and they find those tools and, and they find that solution and they realize that he have succeeded and there's a special glow that comes about a child's look in their eyes and the only thing you can do is smile and you share that happy moment with them and you rejoice and, and you just want to scream you know and to some people it may seem like a small game but to that specific that individual child it's moving mountains so i was diagnosed with narcolepsy when i was in grade 12 and my teachers made an IEP, you know, and said they were going to make all these wonderful accommodations. However, that actually never happened. Um, so it was always a struggle because they continued to teach to the masses and, you know, do the normal lecture style. It just kind of dawned on me that, you know, I can't be the only one faced with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis. And obviously not everyone has the same learning style. So that kind of motivated me to go into teaching to almost change how things are done. The most rewarding uh, moments are when, when you first start teaching students how to use communication devices at our school, um, because you know you first introduce it with snacks or something motivating like toys. And I think it's when they first start initiating that interaction on their own and no prompting needed. And then they get to the next step of doing it across contexts. And you know they can go up to a stranger and ask for something. I think those are the moments that make it so worthwhile because you know that this child now has a voice and can go on to communicate, you know, wherever life may take them. I think those are the best moments.